Hello fellow gamers, welcome back from more Legends of the Twilight Princess, Kevin J2010 here. In the last episode, we collected the four monkeys here in the forest temple, and we used them to get across that gorge, I guess you can call it over there. And can we go over here yet? No, we can't. Um, and yeah, in this episode, we're going to be entering this door, which is what I cliffhanged to last episode. Let us see what is inside. Oh, well, the door locked behind us. That's never a good thing. What is this dude here doing in... Oh, he's gonna attack us with these dino babas. Stop doing that! I don't enjoy it. I actually don't enjoy when you do that. I guess the phrase would be... I'm not gay! I'm sorry. Anyway, this, this is Ook. He is the mini-boss of this dungeon. Um, what you're supposed to do here is basically when he throws his boomerang, you roll into the totem pole he's standing on, and then the boomerang will come back and hit him in the face. And then you slice his butt. Yes, I, again, I don't know why they had this huge obsession with his butt, but I think they thought it'd be really funny. You ever notice that saying, I think they thought? That sounds like a really hard word to say. It's alliteration. Besides, yeah, think they thought. It all starts with a TH. Aha! I am so illiterate. Not illiterate, illiterate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for offending everyone who's illiterate out there. My heart goes out to you. I'm sorry. Why did I try to sound like I was some sort of like old school like rock band? My heart goes out to you. And you can hit him here because he's actually going to throw it to knock down more dino babas. He doesn't throw it at you all the time. And look at that, we've already defeated Ook. Oh, idiot. Gush. Oh, that was the dark bug that was controlling him. I get it, he's not a bad guy after all. I do like this game's humor too. Because with the increased graphics that the Wii got, I find... I'm, I'm glad they made it... They made a lot of the humor in the actions of the characters rather than the text. I'm the fairy of winds who resides in this boomerang. You have freed me from evil and I now have a tr my true power back. Please take it with you. Use it to aid your quest and may both my power and my blessing go with you. If you focus power in your boomerang before releasing it, it will unleash the power of wind aiding you in unforeseen ways. Whoa! Da -na -na -na. We have the Gale Boomerang, which is the item of the dungeon. Every dungeon has an item and usually you will find it very close to where you found it. You usually find it by beating the side the mini boss of the dungeon. So I'm going to set that now and what you want to do to get out of here is you're going to want to lock on and go eh. hit the Z button a bunch of times to put in multiple lock ons and we'll open slightly and then you just go do it again. Ah, why? Point we. One more time. Once you've hit it three times, it will go all the way up. I don't even know why they did that. Because you would think it would be the lock on thing, but you don't even have to lock on. You can just do it like once, hit it, come back. Twice, hit it again, come back. Three times, and it'll open. Like, I always found that really stupid as to why they put all this random stuff in it like that. Um, what's... Is there stuff in these? Oh, there is. I was wondering why these were here. They're like Deku... I don't know. Um, when you can use the um, Gale Boomerangs, you actually use it to move these... Um, you actually use it to move those platforms around, which is cool. Hey, look, a blue rupee. I have to freak out about it because the game would freak out about it if I had saved. I'm trying to roll into this tree here, but the camera keeps... There we go. Oh, wait. Psh, that's not what you do. So I'm going to lock on right above him. Put the thing down. My bad. I kind of made that look stupid. And he's actually just going to run on without us, which is silly, but... 
That's what he's gonna do. Well, I guess there are still some monkeys you haven't freed yet. At this point, you should just save them all and see what you can get for it. Um, that's basically Minda's way of saying, yeah, you need to save all the monkeys. Oh, there's... Is that a card rock? No, it's just some random bird thing. No, 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 don't turn. Okay. I hate it when they turn on you while you're, like, almost across, and then you either fall into the abyss or nothing. Anyway. So now we're back into this room. Um, one thing I'm quickly going to do is I'm going to pick up that last heart piece that we didn't pick up in the dungeon. Yeah, every dungeon in this game has two heart pieces. Which kind of seems weird when I do the bio thing at the very beginning of this, but... Um, oh! Now you see what it's like to get attacked by those, by the way. If you stand on top of them, they just launch you into the air. But there is a way to kill them now that you have the Gale Boomerang. Um, before we... It was impossible for us to kill them, but with the Gale Boomerang, we'll actually rip them out of the ground. And you can kill them with the sword. But I am not going to bother with them because I frankly don't care about killing them. They don't... It's not like they give you anything for killing them. But what you're going to want to do is in this room, you're going to want to actually turn... You're going to want to use the Gale Boomerang to put out these torches, which is the idea because it's wind, you can put out torches, which I did think was a nice mix for them, and I pulled out like all the floor masters by doing that, or whatever these are called. <laughs> They're so funny when they stand up, because it's like, what? Anyway, and in here there is a another heart piece, yep, we now have all three heart pieces we can have at this point in the game. But I'm really glad that I'm kind of doing a perfect run so far. I haven't really missed anything. And now that I've said that, I'm going to have someone saying, You missed that red rupee in the in the thing, which I don't even think we found a red rupee yet. So, yeah. Oh, we still have loads of time. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm recording this whole dungeon in one sitting. But it seems like this dungeon is... It seems I felt like this episode was like already done, but it's actually not. Anyway. Oh wait, psh, where am I going? I have to go back into the main room. We have to find the rest of the monkeys. The monkeys! Anyway. What you're going to do is you're going to come back into this room. And there's no monkeys to... Oh yes, there is, but I'm not going to use it because I'm an idiot and didn't see it at first. You may notice, you may have even seen it when you came in here. There was a chest up here. If you cut it down, inside this chest is the... You got the compass. The compass is actually a pretty useful item. Well, if it isn't something useful, as long as you have that, you should be able to find where the captured monkeys are, right? Um, yeah, but in other dungeons, it doesn't tell you where the monkeys are. It also tells you where the hidden treasure chests are, which I thought was always interesting. So, yeah, you can see, like, there's this way where we still need to go. And, yeah, you'll see where the monkeys are. There's a monkey here, and here, and there. Those are the last three monkeys we can actually get. So, that's what we're going to want to do. And hopefully we can do it all in this episode. At least get all the monkeys. We don't have to do that much. I just want to get all the monkeys in this episode. Which shouldn't take too long. We only have about seven minutes left, and it's really dark in here. Um, alright, it's this room again. Duh! I completely forgot what room I was in. I'm like, man, this room is really dark. I don't remember there being two dark rooms in this dungeon, but it's the same room as before. Um, there's an important item in this room, though, and I couldn't pick it up the first time because we didn't have the we didn't have the dungeon item. Um, if you come in here, you'll see on the ground there's like a Z for like or a backward Z for Zoro. No, that's how you spell. I don't even know my alphabet, do I? And what you're going to do is you're going to hit them in the order of a Z, and you lock onto them, and you launch the Gale Boomerang, and as it goes, Link's going to do a spin. And you probably can expect something to be pretty important in here because I mean, look at the look at the chest. It's like gigantic. And you got the big key, which used to be called the boss key. But I'm so used to calling it the boss key that I'm probably forget to call it the big key. But it is called the big key. I know. I should probably stop talking about this whole big key thing. Anyway, so now that we have the big key. There's not much left to do in this dungeon. We're just going to want to get through it. Um, we have to go pick up those last few monkeys. Hello, monkey! Hello! Oh, he's so cute with his butt. It's not as red as that Ook character's butt. No, I shouldn't be looking at a monkey's butt. 
Anyway, now there's no wind in here, so this actually will not turn for you, which is why you needed the Gale Boomerang the first time we came in here. And can I get these other monkeys now? I'm wondering. Because I... Oh, well, these Bokoblins are going to get mad at me for something. I don't know what I did to them, but they're going to get mad. Oh, these, both these ways are... Did he just... <laughs> he just came in here. He's like, I'm going to get you. I mean, then he fell off the... That is funny. I might... You know what? I'm going to show that instant replay. That was funny. That was really funny. Anyway. So we actually can't go that way yet. What you're going to do is you're going to come in here and... There's the four monkeys we saved before. And this monkey's going to join them. As you can see, we now have f five monkeys of the eight. And Minda's going to point out the obvious. I guess in order for us to check the temple out completely, we need to help We need to help the monkeys. Oh, well, let's help the rest of them. Yeah, as you can check here, there's three spots. Like one, two, three spots left. And that is where the... Basically, that's where the monkey... That's how many monkeys there are. There is eight in total. It's pretty simple. Simple concept, and I like how they kind of... They gave you the lantern first, which is a cool item to give you because you kind of need a lantern to help you see through things. And then they kind of used it in the dungeon and then used the inverse of it, which is the Gale Boomerang as well, which I thought was kind of cool. Anyway, we're going to lock in all those so we can knock down all the Walchillas. Climbing up, going across the thing with the jumping down. Uh, these vines take forever to climb up and that's the biggest problem with it. I do like how this dungeon is very linear. I really like this dungeon. I like how easy it is but at the same time it's it's kind of new and original. I think it's the only dungeon in Zelda that's one floor. I don't think they've ever done that before. And that kind of rhymes. Floor and before. Anyway. I'm gonna kill these things. I don't think we're gonna have time to get any of the monkeys, but we're kind of in the room where all the monkeys are, so we can kind of get them really quickly. Okay, now what you're gonna want to do here. There's a bomb link somewhere. There it is. What you're gonna do is you're gonna want to lock onto the bomb link there, and then lock onto that. And you'll throw this, and it'll actually take the bomb link over to you. Okay, I thought it worked the other way. I'm sorry. Yeah, use the bomb link to break that open. In case you couldn't tell, you can use the Gale Boomerang to grab items for you. Which is what I just did. And in here there is a... Small key, which is what we're going to use in the other room. Um, we still have three minutes left, so I can at least grab this first monkey. Or about three minutes left. Okay, now what you're going to want to do in here... Is you're going to want to lock onto that... And one thing you can really try is you can actually lock onto this up here. Um, I've seen other people like try it by you would grab the bombling with your hands and then like throw it at the last second to make it explode into the rock. Um, it works, but you'll generally hit Link trying, so you may want to be careful with that. I'm getting attacked while my computer went w almost went to sleep, which would have been really bad. And I have to use the gun right here, don't I? Yeah, I cut him down. Dino Baba, why? It might be Demon Baba. That would probably make more sense than that big one that we faced at the beginning. Of the thing. I'm not good with this. I'm, I told you guys, I'm not good with official names. Anyway. And we're going to want to... Cub... Blamo. I don't know why. I felt like thinking it was cool or something. And that is monkey number six. And we are doing pretty good here. Next episode, we'll probably finish the dungeon. So... I'm going to come back into this room, and I'm going to jump down. Where's the way down? There it is. We And we. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we are going to be getting the final two monkeys and hopefully finishing this dungeon. I will see you guys all next time as I get to the final thing here. I'm just going to... I'll see you guys all next time.